Hey there YouTubers, it's Don from True Cable coming back at you again in continuation of our do and don't series. This is another don't. In this particular one, don't pull your ethernet cable too hard. When installing ethernet cable, it's not electrical cable. I can't just take any amount of pulling tension that you want to apply to it. You should always smoothly unspool cable. Uh, you should always make certain that you're not yanking past a corner or something like that. The reason being that Ethernet cable has a maximum pulling tension per the standard of 25 foot-pounds. And that's not that much. So it's easy to accidentally exceed it, especially if you do a yank like that, a pull. The reason why is because you could easily rip the cable jacket or you could also extend or elongate and damage the pairs inside the cable. And that will ruin your transmission performance. In fact, a lot of experienced installers will pull what they need for the actual run, include the amount of service slack that they need, the service loop, but they'll also have an additional 10 feet at either end, especially the pull end, and that could be both ends, and then they'll cut off 10 feet automatically and discard it. That's scrap. The reason being is that when you're pulling Ethernet cable, more, most of the damage that's going to occur if you pull too hard is going to be within the first 10 feet of the run. So that is why a lot of installers will automatically pull 10 feet too much on either side or the pole side and lop it off. And that is 10 feet in addition to any termination slack you need, service slack, and the actual run length. So again, if you really want to get a good gauge of what 25 foot-pounds feels like, you can go and get an actual pole gauge and attach the Ethernet cable to it and then actually pull and see how much force it, re it takes to get to 25 foot-pounds. You might be surprised to find out it's not that much. So more cable is damaged by installing it than is defective. So just be aware of that. We want your installs to be successful and that is the number one way to ruin Ethernet cable is pulling it way too hard. So uh, hopefully that was useful to you. Subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Uh, if you've got some funny stories or some anecdotal uh, things that have happened and evidence and things like that, go ahead and put them in our comment section. We would love to hear it. I'm sure there's got to be a funny story out there somewhere where somebody tried to use an Ethernet cable in a tractor pulling contest. So with that, I'm going to say you have a great day and happy networking.